Hey, what's up YouTube? We're out here at Raccoon Mountain. We are test riding the Santa Cruz Nomad. It's a big change from the GT Aggressor I've been riding and a lot of fun so far. This has way more travel. Obviously 170 in the front versus the 100 I'm riding. We even got the 170 in the back suspension. Obviously I'm riding a hardtail. Completely different bike from what I'm riding. And I know that this is a, this is a lot of bike, especially for this area and uh, from what I've been used to riding. I'm wearing the flats that were on the demo bike and there's no spikes at all so I feel like my feet are slipping off these pedals I think we're gonna take the Nomad down high voltage I didn't really want to make the climb back up but I feel like this is why you come out here. So we got the 2019 Santa Cruz Nomad, 27.5 size tires. We got 170 in the front, 170 travel in the back. We're running a 1 by 12 SRAM Eagle drivetrain. We got the wide handlebars. This is their stock build that comes from Santa Cruz. So this is just an overview of the Santa Cruz Nomad out here at Raccoon Mountain on their demo day, test riding. What's really awesome about the Santa Cruz is that they're taking a lot from their, their V10, their downhill bike, is that they brought the, the rear suspension from the top, brought it down here. And then they've got their patented VPP uh, design. So there's the linkage down here at the bottom, as well as a linkage up here at the top. And these actually uh, work in opposite directions. So this will come in this direction. And it just, the way the linkages work, make a lot, um, creates a lot more stiffness in the, in the rear tire and in these back chain stays and seat stays here. Um, but with the suspension down at the bottom, we're running the Super Deluxe uh, suspension, rock shocks, and having the suspension down here uh, creates a lot more linear uh, movement in the, in the Nomad. What's awesome about the, the linear is that as you're hitting consistent uh, bumps or uh, rocks and drops and such, you're not progressively building. It keeps the second, third, fourth uh, drop and and hit just feels makes it feel less like the first one so that's what's awesome about that uh, suspension being it having it dropped making it more linear we're also running the Fox 36 performance elite on, on the front 170 there's lockouts for, for all of this obviously I feel like going down through some of these this rocky terrain is just super easy oh yeah So much fun. Oh, so soft. I've done this ride on my GT and it was definitely not as smooth as this. I feel like I can pump a lot harder on the other, but that's because I have a hard tail. Guys, thanks for watching. I've been having a lot of fun uh, test riding the Nomad. And, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys learned something from this and uh, just picking up some, some information and just getting a nice overview. Uh, these aren't my bikes, they're just test rides. So they, uh, they are just a, an overview. They're, they're not a full uh, review on the bikes. I haven't done many miles, just, you know, four to five miles, unfortunately, with the test ride. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully we'll get some more for you guys and hopefully we can kind of make the transition into a Santa Cruz. Uh, the Nomad was a lot of fun and I think it's just too much bike for what I have out here. If I was doing more uh, bike parks or uh, more descents that involve less climbing, I think the Nomad would be a lot of fun and would be the preferable bike. Uh, but I just don't do that type of riding. I just don't have that access where I am here in Chattanooga. Thanks for watching, guys.